Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about SPF and sun protection. Uh, it is springtime, summer is right around the corner. If you are anything like me, you are spending more time outdoors these days. I have young kids, so we are outside of the playground. I'm running outdoors a lot more. When summer gets here, I'm gonna be at the pool. We have vacations lined up in the summer. So I know that we are all pretty good, at least I hope so, about applying an SPF in the morning, whether it's our moisturizer, it's a separate SPF product, or we're getting it from our foundation. But how many of us are really uh, touching up our sunscreen throughout the day? How many of us are actually reapplying our SPF product throughout the day? Because SPF does not ensure protection all day long. In fact, the number associated with your SPF refers to the amount of time that you have sun protection. So it's definitely something that you need to reapply if you want all day protection. But I feel like until recently, there weren't a lot of options to reapply your sunscreen unless you were grabbing your lotion sunscreen and applying it on top of your makeup, which let's be honest, how many of us are really doing that? Not me. So I wanted to share with you guys a couple of products that can be used over your makeup to uh, touch up your SPF that are not going to interfere or mess up your makeup. So I have three products to share with you. I do wanna mention that this video is in partnership with Color Science. One of the products that I'm gonna share with you is a product by Color Science, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I wanna share with you is a product that I discovered last year when we were getting ready for our 10 year anniversary trip to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It is a makeup setting spray by the brand Kula. This makeup setting spray has an SPF of 30. This is basically going to mattify your makeup and set your makeup just like any other makeup setting spray that you are using would do, but it provides that added value of the SPF of 30. This is a 70% organic uh, line of makeup, so if you are someone who likes more organic or green products, this might be a brand to check out if you haven't already. Uh, it has green tea and aloe extracts along with hyaluronic acid. This is good for um, all skin types. I do wanna mention that when I first apply this on my face. I like to keep my eyes closed because the first few times I didn't, I opened, well, I closed my eyes when I apply it, but I opened them pretty quickly. And I did feel a slight, say burning is kind of the wrong word, very, very, very mild, tingling, um, stinging sensation. So if you have very sensitive eyes, just be aware of that. It's not painful at all or uncomfortable, but I, but I feel like I need to share that with you guys because that's definitely something that I noticed and I notice every time that I use this product. But this is a great product to just keep on your makeup counter and spray before you leave the house or throw it in your bag and use throughout the day to touch up. At the pool, this will be a product that I keep in my bag, not necessarily to even refresh my makeup, but just to add that SPF of 30. So this is a fantastic product. It reach, retails for for $36. You can get this at Ulta or at Sephora. The next product is by Color Science, and I was so excited to partner up with them for this video. Uh, I worked with Color Science last month talking about their Total Eye Renewal product, which I feel like is a total game changer and I love. So when they asked if I wanted to test out their new Sun Forgettable Brush on Sunscreen, I was like, uh, duh. So essentially this is a powder with SPF of 50 in it, you guys, an SPF of 50, that's fantastic. You can use this to set your makeup. So after you've applied your makeup, instead of using a loose powder to set it or whatever powder you might be using, you can use this. Uh, definitely this is gonna be something that I keep in my bag all summer long to touch up my makeup because every time that I touch up my makeup, I'm adding an SPF of 50. I would even use this when my makeup doesn't necessarily need to be touched up, but when I wanna ensure that I'm touching up my SPF and that's not wearing off throughout the day, I'm gonna grab for this. So this gives protection against UVA, UVB, and pollution. It also gives protection against blue light and infrared radiation. It's filled with antioxidants and it's a hydrating powder, so it's really good for the skin. It's not going to feel heavy or too mattifying on the skin. It's a very lightweight powder. When you first get it, it took me a little bit of time to get the powder out. When I first got it, I was kind of playing with it and I was like, am I doing this right? Where's the powder? So you essentially, it comes with a little band, you take that off and then you just kind of press it on the back of your hand and swirl it around until you see the powder come out. And then you just go and you touch up your makeup and apply it like so. Then it has a little bullet that you pull up to keep the bristles nice and shapely, and then it has a little lid here. The br bristles are antimicrobial, so it does keep them clean and fresh. It's also sweat and water resistant for up to 80 minutes, so that's perfect for the summertime. It gets to like over 100 degrees here in Austin. It's crazy. I know a lot of my, I have a lot of you messaging me on Instagram saying it's snowing here right now and it's, you know, 70 in Austin. I'm so jealous. And I'm just like, don't worry because when July comes around here, it's going to be like 106 and we're going to feel like we're baking outside. Um, but yeah, when the summertime comes around, I need products that are sweat proof for sure and water resistant because we're always at the pool. So I do like that this offers that added 
benefit. It's also hypoallergenic and it won't clog your pores. So Color Science is giving a special promotion with the purchase of the powder. You get a Bronzing Perfector Deluxe sample size. It's the three-in-one face primer with an SPF of 20. So this is a three-in-one product. It's a primer, a bronzer, and it has an SPF of 20. When you first put it on the skin, it is kind of dark, but I noticed that if you really rub it in, that bronze shade kind of fades a little bit. It is going to give you some color though, uh, but you just kind of have to work it into the skin if it seems to be too dark for you initially upon application, but that'll give you kind of an idea of what it does. So that could be used under makeup or alone. So I'll leave a link down below for that offer. The next product I want to share with you guys is by It Cosmetics, and this is one of my favorites. It's the CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder with an SPF of 50. So this is a foundation powder, and I really want to kind of elaborate on what that means a little bit more. So I like to use this as my foundation on certain days. I'll apply my Drunk Elephant sunscreen, and then I will use a um, kind of like a kabuki brush to apply this on top, and it is my foundation. I don't apply any additional foundation. I just apply my concealer and then this. However, if you are someone that likes full, full coverage, you could dust this on top of your foundation. Like if you're using a liquid foundation, you could lightly dust this on top with a powder brush. If you like mega full coverage and a full coverage look, so I'm going to say that this is going to provide a very heavy matte finish, which some of us don't like, but if you don't mind that, you can even sponge it on top of your foundation for even more coverage. Um, but if you want to keep this in your purse throughout the day, if you feel like your foundation fades and you want to just touch up a little bit of your foundation, you can use this and it's going to add, it's not only going to add SPF of 50, but it's going to add coverage to your foundation. So it's not necessarily setting just to make your makeup look fresh. It's actually going to add more foundation. So if you have a foundation that's very sheer in coverage or you feel like doesn't last throughout the day, you can keep this on your purse and dust this on top to provide that extra coverage. But I really like this product a lot. I like that it has an SPF of 50. So I'm showing you guys two powders, the Color Science and the It Cosmetics. They both have an SPF of 50, but the two are very, very different. So this is going to provide a lot of coverage. This is going to be a great product to touch up throughout the day with on top of your foundation. What I like about this that uh, you could go very wrong if you do it with this is that you could touch up throughout the day like every two hours with this and your makeup is not going to look heavy throughout the day. If you touch up with this product every two hours, you're going to have what is a very, very heavy makeup look. So I just want to mention that, that this isn't a product I would recommend touching up multiple times throughout the day, but if you just want to check in on the four or five hour mark, add a little SPF and a little coverage, this one is great. But if you need a product that's lightweight that you can continue to use over and over without making your makeup look heavier, then I would go with the Color Science. Um, so this is one that I'm going to keep in my bag for sure. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope this helped you guys find some ways that you can not only touch up your makeup, but also touch up your SPF throughout the day. I think it's so important and I think it's a step that a lot of us aren't doing, myself included. So I'm really glad that there are products out there now that allow us to keep our skin protected without um, interfering with our makeup. So again, thank you so much Color Science for partnering with me on this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!